Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to replace a keyboard for an HP EliteBook A40 G5 and G6 Yes guys, this is not original keyboard but I'm going to show you how to replace it Right, let's get started Turn the laptop on the other side Undo these screws So one, two, three, four, five, six Six screws, undo them So now just lift up the cover now there will be two screws you need to remove one from here and the other one from here so once that's done put the cover back on and then turn the laptop on the other side Now just open it Right, as you can see, this keyboard is not OEM So it's not original Right, now what you need is a tool like this Use something similar, something pointy Just to get in between the keyboard and the casing And then this will lift up guys So you lift, you've got to lift it up from the top now there's a ribbon, because it's not OEM, there's only one ribbon So that's the ribbon for the keyboard That's the pointer if you've got original keyboard And that's the backlit keyboard That's the ribbon So guys, once that's all removed, all three cables Lift up the keyboard And then vice versa You put your keyboard back in If it's a replacement one just like this Which is not OEM then you just need to put the keyboard ribbon that's it the other two ribbons such as the pointer in the middle of the keyboard which you will find on the original and the backlit will be empty so there's no ribbon for that one just this one guys so I'm gonna just slot it in there it's a bit fiddly but once you slot it in there that little black clip you push it down and it will secure the ribbon Finally, it's in. Now I clipped it in. Yeah, that's secure. Right. Now, what you need to do is align it at the bottom. Can you see them little clips? Just make sure you push it down. It securely goes in. Just like this. Yep, now that's it, you push it down from here now Keep pressing with your fingers, so securely in the keyboard So once that's done You need to put them two screws back in So the keyboard is securely fitted in So don't forget guys, one, two, make sure you put the screws back in. And don't forget to put all six screws on the back cover. So now you're ready to use your keyboard. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.